10 year buy and hold project <clears throat> that you're going to be doing. Um, before we get started, these are the companies right here. They're listed on uh, this 10 year buy and hold project. Uh, they're listed on this page. All of the companies that you can choose from in the buy and hold strategy. So um, you will be uh, drafting one of those a, and then um, and then you're doing your project on it. So um, let's look over here at mine. I chose Coca-Cola was the product that I chose. Um, <clears throat> And it's going to be similar to the one that you did last time. Um, however, we're going to be looking at like currently, what is the stock price currently? So this 482.99 is what it, it was trading for today as of um, November 11th, uh, 2021. Uh, and the 10 year projection, I have to project what I think this is going to be. So I, I don't know, obviously, like this is a crystal ball. I have no idea. But uh, obviously in this in this project, I'm going to be giving you reasons why I believe that the, the this will pretty much double during the time. Uh, I'll be listing that out here and then uh, our projects are based on, this is supposed to be projections, sorry, let me change that real quick. Our projections, I might have incorrectly done, let me see here, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Now it's cleared up. Sorry. Um, and please don't move these around. Uh, I did set these in a, in a way so that it's simple for you all to, to do it. But uh, anyway, our projections are based on, so you're going to say like why you think this is going to go to this. And you're going to give us just kind of an overview on this right here. So that, on that impact statement, just kind of an overview of why you think Coca-Cola uh, is going to go up so much. You're not really talking about your opponent right now. You're just talking about yours. Um, so the first reason that uh, Coke is, uh, I think Coke is going to go up a bunch is because Coke is a product always in demand. Uh, recessions, whatever, world wars, it doesn't matter. Coke seems to be a product that has had, um, you know, a long history. Uh, I would show a video here uh, backing that up because obviously I'm not credible. I, I'm just a person telling you about why you should invest in Coke, but I want to go get an expert to, to give me credibility. And what the video shows us is, and you impact that out in the statement as well. So, um, Please note also this time, instead of doing an opener, a persuader, and a closer on different documents, I did them all in the same document. So you all need to share this document. I think that'll be easier. We still had some people last time who weren't sharing documents, weren't sharing videos, and you've got to do that. You've got to find a way. Um, as we saw uh, with Kevin, uh, or with, a St with Steph Curry, when we talked about him uh, this last month about when he got pitched from Nike, uh, and that they messed up his name on the slideshow and they called him the wrong name. It's important that you have these details correct. It's important that you are ready to present and there isn't anything pause or holding things up. Um, my second argument is, or my second reason uh, of why you should buy and hold Coke is because Coke has been a solid brand for over a hundred years. And uh, I'd show you an article about uh, Coke's tenure and how they've uh, how they've lasted. Uh, and the impact of this article shows, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you an article there and then I would impact it. Um, then I would show you that um, it's an international brand as well. Uh, it's 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 survived across the world um, without uh, without really losing its force. Um, and then I would show you a video and then I would impact that video as well. And then I would be open for questions. This one around this time around, we'll go a little bit quicker through some of these um, uh, through these shouldn't take quite as long as they did in the last one. The persuader um, tenure buy and hold project here. Um, I would give you an arguments as to why I think Coca-Cola is a better buy and hold than Adidas. Adidas is going to be my rival today. Um, my first reason is that Coca-Cola is number one in its product class, which is soda, uh, but Adidas is number two, and it's been showing like Nike's been really going ahead of it uh, as well. I would show a video talking about maybe Adidas fall or or how Adidas is not quite the dominant uh, shoe brand that it once was. Um, and I'd impact this with a video, uh, or I mean, I'd impact it with a video, and then I'd, I'd talk about the impact, um, uh, or talk about the video in my impact. Um, and then I'd also show here how Adidas' stock has fallen by 11% in the last year. So in this last year, it's gone down by this much, uh, and that's kind of, uh, that's, that's not good. Uh, I'd provide a video about maybe a stock analyst talking about how Adidas is not a good 
uh, not a good hold uh, and maybe a, a stock that you'd want to dump. Uh, and then I'd impact that video there as well. And last one here, uh, and, the, and I like to hold sometimes my best argument for the third one to really punch the audience. Uh, and Warren Buffett invests heavily in Coke. In fact, 68% of his portfolio in Berkshire Hathaway is composed of four stocks, Apple, Bank of America, Coke, and Amex, American Express. And I show a video to prove that. And then I'd come back and say, so look, if the all-time greatest investor is putting his money into that, then certainly we should know that this is a brand that, you know, is going to survive all types of market conditions. It's stable. It's uh, It may not be as flashy as other brands. It's a blue chip stock and it's certainly going to do great. Um, but Warren Buffett drinks five Cokes a day, by the way, uh, and he's something like 90 years old. Now, we know Coke is not always good for you to drink. It's sugar water. But uh, as far as investment goes, it's terrific. Uh, and then I would go to the buy and hold um, the closer. Closer will be very similar. Um, you, and, and by the way, the closer's three arguments should not be new arguments. You shouldn't be coming up with brand new stuff here. All three of these should reflect whatever you've said previously in your speeches. So the first one is Warren Buffett believes strongly in it. I, I made that comment right here. Um, my second one is um, you know, it's a good, it's, it's a long time invested stock. It's weathered all sorts of storms. Um, you know, it's always in demand. Uh, and I just, and I show up here that like the, the fact that if you would have put a thousand dollars into it 10 years ago, you would have $2,800 today. It's just, it, it doesn't, it, it's, it's sort of recession proof. And now it's going to go down with the market when there have been dips in like 2008, 2009, or even in 2020, when you had the COVID, um, dip as well, but it always rebounded. In fact, it rebounded incredibly. And so, uh, that's the impact I put over here as well. Uh, and then finally, it's a it's a it's a brand that can weather all financial storms, and I've mentioned this several times throughout uh, my my particular presentation. Um, now you want to be aware that these are arguments that should be kind of specific to your brand. So if Adidas has been going up in the last year, uh, you know, then I don't know that I would want to talk about. This. I'd probably want to talk more about the the new things Coke is doing, um, the things that uh, Coke is relying a lot on its past. It's relying a lot on its credibility, whereas Adidas uh, or a brand like Tesla or Apple or wherever, whatever else you're going to be doing, Facebook, are they're all about the new innovative things that they're doing. So you should be your arguments in the opener, the persuader, the closer should all be about the innovation that they're doing, the things they're going to be changing over the next 10 years to tell, you know, Larry about investing. All right. So we are going to have, so these are the companies that you can pick as it's also limit. It's also listed here on the buy and hold project. Um, the scoring rubric this time will be a little bit tougher. It's getting a little bit tougher every single time we do this. Um, last time you only could lose up to three errors. Uh, if you made a mistake, now you can lose up to four points uh, in, in making an error on, on uh, as many errors. Please remember to capitalize things that need to be capitalized, names, cities, uh, all of that needs to be capitalized. If you just throw stuff on a screen, that is like Steph Curry seeing, um, you know, Kevin Durant's name. Um, and that was in my other class, by the way, we talked about it. Steph Curry was being pitched by Nike and Nike literally put Kevin Durant's name on the slideshow instead of uh, Steph Curry's name. And so um, like Kev, Steph Curry decided to go to Under Armour instead. The details matter. The things that you're doing matter. And so you've got to make sure that you are looking at your your PowerPoint. If you're on my team and I'm sharing this PowerPoint with you, this slideshow, I'm looking at all the things you're doing. If you don't have something spelled correctly, if you have something not capitalized, I'm just going to go in and correct it. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for you to do it uh, because you may be costing me a grade uh, and that's not what I want. So questions ready to go. No pauses. Some of you, uh, and by the way, this last time doing the two minute clock, I thought it went really well. There's only a few groups that lost points because of that. Um, and it's just a matter of like having things uh, ready to go. Uh, and oops, I misspelled enthusiasm here. Oh my goodness. Simpson, come on now. Uh, videos ready to play. No delays. Um, so don't rely on the internet. They need to be screen recorded. Please don't be that guy or that girl that gets up there and it's like, man, the internet's not working today. Uh, also make sure that all three computers have the slideshow on them. All three computers have all videos on them. Uh, you can't get up in a boardroom and be like, oh, my computer just died. We don't have a presentation. You have to have a backup. You have to have a backup to your backup. You cannot get up and, and 
like Murphy's Law says, what can go wrong will go wrong. So don't forget to do that you got to have enthusiasm about your project. And I really like, I mean, you know, hearing you guys speak before, there's just a lot of enthusiasm. You guys are really trying to win these rounds, and I love that. Uh, work is turned in on time. Uh, we're going to have a date uh, when we do this, and you're going to be making sure that it gets in. Make sure that all impact statements are done. I, I did stop you this time and say, hey, I didn't hear an impact. I'm going to make you go back and do it. I want to make sure that you don't miss any. I want to give you full credit. So I'm going to stop you in the middle of your speech. You're going to be like, oh, Mr. Simpson, whatever. But I want you to impact it because the crowd, the audience, you may think you're getting through to us, but you're not. Um, sometimes uh, you may have. Uh, and remember when, when when we were in debate, we would tell our audience what we were going to tell them. We tell them the three main points and then we would tell them what we told them. So you never can be wrong by reinforcing something one more time so that your audience gets it and that people who are in that boardroom are are fully informed. Remember, you are competing with my brain. The Padres just hired Bob Melvin to be their manager. I'm thinking about that all the time. I'm thinking about my cryptocurrency. I'm thinking about uh, Henry's baseball game this Saturday. I'm thinking about a lot of things all the time. You're competing with my brain. And my brain is very, very active all the time. And so you may have said it, you may have told me how wonderful uh, your GameStop stock is or whatever, and I just totally missed it. Uh, or maybe I was putting attendance in and I missed it. Or maybe I was looking at Mr. Simpson's poster and I missed it. Um, all of those things are competing. So make sure that you impact it, that you make sure that we are, um, we're getting what you're saying. Don't miss any of those. Those are easy points. Um, all right. Good luck, guys.